So here's my video all laid out on my timeline. It's already how I want the final video to look. And as you can see, I already have my text boxes already on the screen. And if you watched my last video, which I'll link down below, all you do is take a blank or a black text box and you just add it to your video and modify it uh, by the opacity. So now here's all my subtitles all laid out. And as you can see, they're all two seconds. All I did was I changed it in the settings, which is a little cogwheel up at the top. And I went to editing and you can change the default time for your subtitles and all of these other settings, but I changed it to two seconds. So every single subtitle I add is going to be two seconds. Now, how I added in all of these using a text file is I went in to notepad and all you do is you type in your subtitles and make sure in between each you end up double spacing so that you get the proper spacing for these. This is how it's going to translate into PowerDirector. So this is how I'm just going to show you. I'm going to erase this and write it in. And then there's actually a part on here oh, in double space you can type whatever you want. But there's actually a part in here I'm going to change so that you can see it literally change on the screen. So now what you're going to do is you're going to file and then save as. You're going to make sure this is as .txt, so a text file. And you're going to name it whatever you want and just hit save. So then we're going to go into PowerDirector and you're going to hit the little file button that's import SRT or text file. So watch number 8 right here where it says Physician's Formula. I'm going to go and hit my text document and open that up. Apparently open was hard. And now it's just going to import and look, it already changed this so you can see all of them are completely changed and ready to be adjusted. So I need these to be in the little text box. So I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to move it. And I'm gonna apply this to all. So just adjust it so every single subtitle is gonna be properly positioned. And then these last four are gonna to have to be changed separately. So I'm just going to adjust those for you now. It takes a little bit of practice to get these completely spaced properly, but as long as you have it, you'll be able to do this no problem. Alright, so let's just finish up here. One more to go. And now there we go. All of my subtitles are added in here. What I actually like to do is I write out my subtitles before I even start editing my video. That way it's already in a text file and it's super easy just to add it in here. So I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know if you have any editing videos that you want me to do. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.